That's good. That's a Leno joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Monica Lewinsky. Criminal defense attorney explains why you should avoid self-checkout lanes. Theft by mistake. Okay. I guess she's she's warning people that you could uh, uh, stop using self-checkout lanes because you could accidentally steal. What? Who is this fucking nerd? The point of using self checkout is to steal. Look here, I'd, I'd say that uh, it looks like uh, I'd like to accidentally steal her pussy. Yeah, I'd like to. I like her to be my lawyer. What? Hold on. No, no, hold on. I already hit record. We're going. Okay, so we're going now, second. folks. Welcome to the Adam Friedland Show podcast. It's the podcast. What do you? Uh, what do you got going on? I have to post. A v- I'm, f- I'm posting the shit on fuck the episode. I'm uh, posting a video of Gene DiNapoli. Not a video, um, folks. So this is gonna be. This is this is probably this is the best way to do it. So this is the Adam Friedland Show podcast. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, I mean, the the goal here is to move away from podcasting. It's eventually. This is gonna be like uh, the it after the Walking Dead. My personal prediction that podcasting will not be a thing. In another couple of years. Mm-hmm. Well, it AI technology will take over for podcasting. Literally. Yes. But, well, people are going to, I'll tell you what's going to happen. We're going to have AI Joe Rogan defeat Rogan in the f- in the ratings. Nobody's going to, everybody's car is going to get repossessed once the fucking, uh, you know, the recession hits. Oh, yeah. So nobody's going to be able to commute to work, which is the only time people listen to podcasts. So we're going to go back to active media, which is why we need to make the pivot to a talk show as soon as possible. Um, because people, look. The old podcast, you used to be able, you'd put it on, you forget about it. Maybe you laugh once an hour, you know. But the highs were high. I personally was not even aware Come Down was a comedy show. No, this was news to us. I felt it more to be philosophical. People were kind of, ma- I guess, I th- I didn't realize people were laughing at us and making fun psychological of us. Psychological, in a, in a, in a t- intelligent size. Yeah, yeah. Be cool. Edu can edu edu societal. All right, I'm done. I'm ready. Sorry, <laughs> you ready? It is late night. But anyway, Thursday so night, December twenty second. I guess sort of silver, silver lining to every cloud. I went to go. You know, we have to do this. I got to sell advertising for the podcast because the podcast should pay mm-hmm. for it. You know, we shouldn't just. Uh, we got to figure out how to have our bases covered just in case. Mm-hmm. And so I go to sell advertisements for next year, and we have seen a 70% drop in listenership. Perhaps more, maybe 90%. That there's no one that actually listens to the podcast, no. which means this show is entirely funded by either spite or <laughs> we're, th- we're the subject of some, who knows what the CIA is mm-hmm. up to. It Honestly, might, yeah. I can't because it could be a psyop. Because all of the stuff that pe- for my entire life, or l- basically the last hundred years, all the guys that were quote unquote conspiracy theorists are like, yeah, the CIA, they're doing they have these mind control experiments and they got aliens and yeah. they're fucking kids t- for Satanism. Mm-hmm. And then over the last couple of years, the CIA and the you know the okay, elites, that was true. Yeah, they were like, yeah, of course, uh, of course, we're doing that. Mm-hmm. So they got to be. Whatever they're actually doing, <laughs> it's got to be unfathomable. You know what I mean? Right. And t- funding the, the Adam... stuff that hasn't yet come I've out. just accepted that I'm probably some sort of conduit. Mm-hmm. I'm some sort of conduit for the most evil people in government. To sow chaos. Uh, yeah. No. In fact, the exact opposite. Or to placate the masses. To create... An, I'm, I mean, I'm not even really a chaotic guy. I I know you to be chaotic from time to time. It may be in my personal life, but in terms of the look, I mean, did anybody? You know who had a mass shooter? Chapo. You know who never had a mass shooter? Come down. Yeah. Chapo had a mass shooter. Yeah. Don't ever let anybody forget that. Dylan Roof. Dylan Roof was a Chapo. Guy. <laughs> no, there was the Dayton guy, wasn't there? Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I remember what he was listening to a, ra- a Chrisman rant. Yeah, he was listening when he popped rant. off. Yeah. <laughs> he was listening to Matt. What's going on in your schizophrenic head? Just go into the bar <laughs> and fucking shoot him up. Shoot him up. Everybody in that fucking bar is a gormless weasel. A gormless. He loves gormless, <laughs> Matt. It's a, it's a crepusculent gormless weasel. <laughs> gormless. Yeah. Um. Yeah, d- uh, in his in his uh, apartment afterwards, the police raided it, and it was written on the wall, Died Chud Scum. On the walls. 
Did did he? Yeah. Written in blood. That's cool. I'm looking up the ads we got for this for this week. Yeah, what do we have? I don't know, but uh, big fuck youths for never paying last year. Did everyone else settle up? Yeah. And then, uh, so never, never, <laughs> never buy that shit. Never buy this fucking shit. Never buy that shit. Honestly, they sent Unless me a bunch of they stuff. They, they sent me a bunch of stuff. I threw it all out. I threw all those clothes out. I think you're wearing, again, our <laughs> the second yeah. to last sketch. And it's filled with cum. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's how, that's what we think of their that's product. What <laughs> 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 I threw all those clothes out. <laughs> Literally all I wear. All my clothes are like... Cl- you like wear t- the pants every day. <laughs> I've, I, there's the t-shirts that fucking... That people have brought to me on yeah. the road. I can literally cannot take care of myself. Dude, I'm gonna start. Were you wearing that? You were wearing that shirt that said it was like a. It said Houston Sippers on it. Yeah. And I was like, Are you wearing a lean, I lean d- drinking shirt? I and donated that shirt because I <laughs> honestly, I was, this is how this is how this is as close as my heart gets to being charitable. I was like, Black people would like this more. Than <laughs> <laughs> like some, I imagine some homeless black guy wearing it. And I'm like, it's Christmas. <laughs> so I'm talking to Goodwill. <laughs> and I donated. It. You're such a good guy, dude. <laughs> I imagine some homeless black what guy. What a good wearing, guy. Wearing a Houston lean shirt. And I'm like, yeah, the yeah. Houston sippers. And I was like, are you w- are you wearing a lean drinking shirt? You're like, I don't fucking know. Someone brought it to a show. But the, the it looked kind of cool. It was cool. It looked like a. It was a Los Angeles Clippers logo. Some girl brought me a black Bart shirt. I kept that. That's cool. I wear that, and then I wear the. the somebody brought me a shirt, and they were like, "This was signed by all the legends, the barbecued legends." And, and who are they? I don't know. It's on the back of the shirt. I, but I wear it. I was wearing it today. The barbecue legends. The legends of barbecue. Oh, Sweet and like Baby a Ray, Bob's Big Boy, <laughs> Bob Evans, <laughs> Jimmy Dean. <laughs> God damn, Fucking dude. Oscar Meyer. She's just giving you something like that for free? Yeah. Damn. But no, I mean, I'm I'm going back out on tour. And uh yeah, please And bring so me. am I. I'm please also going back please out on club tour. Please me. No, I got to plug this. This is more important now. You have New San Year's. San Jose. I have forgotten to plug this date, but I'm San Jose. I thought it was just New Year's Eve, but it's a full fucking weekend at the San Jose Improv. And uh, we've sold like 11% of the tickets. So, please, New Year's Eve, if you live in fucking San Jose, I made the goddamn, I made the fucking, I don't know why, I should look more at the deals that get sent to me. Yeah. Because it was a mistake to book something. I thought, I literally, I thought it was one, I thought it was one show on New Year's Eve. How many shows is that? It's five. It's a full fucking weekend. It's a 450 capacity. You have to go to California. If you're gonna yeah, say I'm, gonna wa- I'm probably lose money on the weekend. All right. Anyway, guys, <clears throat> I will be at Zanies in Rosemont, which is Chicago area, January 20th. Helium, Philly, January 26th to the 28th. Um, Pittsburgh Improv, February 3rd, 4th. Comedy Connection in Providence, Rhode Island, February 23rd, 25th. Uh, Charlie Goodnights in Raleigh, March 23rd, 25th. And Zanies, Nashville, March 31st, to April 1st. And then we're announcing more dates. They're putting my fucking boy pussy out on the stroll. Yeah, I'm doing the same amount of dates. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to bother you with that. Just go to mole just, dot, yeah. mole.dog slash live dash shows. Well, if you're in those towns, uh, those are the close ones. But there will be a lot more announced. AdamFreeLeather.com slash Tour. All right, you plugged all the dates, and then I, all I did, I gave him a website option. And yeah, but I, if you give them the website, then what, if the guy lives in fucking, like, uh, South Dakota, he's going to go on the website, you're wasting his damn time. All right. Just say, say the cities. All right. And I said them fast, dude. I think the, the audience will appreciate how fast I did that. Okay. Um, all right, back to the show. No, there was something I wanted to... What we were, what, we, what, what did we want to talk about on the Adam Friedland Show podcast? Because we got to figure out what the podcast is. Because the podcast can be a completely separate product. Because I tell you what, I don't want to be podcasting. Yeah, we've said that enough to our audience, and maybe it upsets them. 
But no, but the fuck it. Uh, we okay, can. hold on. No, look, I don't give a fuck whether that upsets the audience. We're uh, still making stuff, and yeah, also we're making a lot of stuff. Like we did a show for six fucking years. Like we want to, you know, <laughs> like you, there's plenty of it. Yeah. If you want the show, go listen to it. There's so much come town. It was great. It was great. No, no, but yes, absolutely. We, you know, the product, the the podcast can be a different product as it exists, as that is the model. But I mean, I don't know. This month has been we've been putting out shit, um, video stuff that you can get go find on patreon.com slash tafs. That I don't know. If you're only it a fan of the Adam Friedland Show podcast, <laughs> and you're unaware, <laughs> <laughs> you're somehow unaware. <laughs> <laughs> you're somehow, you're <laughs> <laughs> I'm unaware of uh, you know the talk show or whatever. Yeah, so so you can go you can go check it out there. No, I have the no one. idea. I have no idea who listens to any of it. I don't know what is going on. With There's like what 35 guys that have been listening to the show since the beginning, and they're pissed. And they they, they are pissed. Well, they they make a bunch of communities online, and they're the guys in the replies all the time. And they just call you a uh, faggot over and over again. Yeah. Um, but it's like, I mean, there has to be more people. That's what I mean. It's like, it's got to be just like the CIA is pumping. They're just laundering money through Patreon. Mm-hmm. Maybe you have like a, a secret admirer, gay billionaire. Who's David, Ge- like <coughs> David Geffen. Yeah. David Geffen. Yeah. And he's <coughs> just like giving you money for your little pet project because he wants to see you. He wants to see you happy. But he'll never tell you that he, who he is, or yeah, I r- I really don't understand how anything works. I don't know at all. You got like t- there's like two options. You are mm-hmm. like everybody has to move to Brooklyn, right? You gotta move to Brooklyn. Everybody moves to Brooklyn. Oh my God, it's like paradise. And either you win the CIA money laundering lottery, or you turn into a guy that also has a podcast. That doesn't get any fucking money. Which is most of them. And then you're a Marxist. And then you become a then Marxist. you do online Marxism all yeah. day long. <laughs> and I guess that's like, maybe that's you're how You're a Marxist it and you're an activist. Maybe they control the amount of money. They, they identify the guys that are going to be the Marxist dickheads. Mm-hmm. And they give them less money to be like, uh, you know, be like, oh yeah, you're a loser if you... <laughs> <laughs> you think this? <laughs> that is the that's the, the audience is just so we're the accidental beneficiaries the of accidental, that. But yeah, because I'm not reading a fucking book. Hell no, I'm not reading. If a book. I read a book, it's going to be an illustrated novelization, reverse novelization of Master and Commander. Oh my god, I'm not incredible. reading the original novels. It's got to be illustrated. I will watch a. Uh, I will watch because you don't read graphic novels. You <laughs> I watch. Will watch. A, I will watch a graphic novelization of Master and Commander, yeah. done by f- uh, Frank Miller. Yeah, that'd be badass. Yeah, I love that shit, dude. The f- like that genre of. I guess it's just the Watchmen. I don't know if I know enough about comic books. I don't know enough. But the comic all. book guys are like, yeah, this is actually. It's actually for fucking grown ups. It's actually if you if you get pussy, you're yeah, into this kind. Uh, yeah, Watchmen's it's commentary on uh, society and fa- on fascism mm-hmm. and 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 uh, look le- 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 <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it needs jusance. There's really nothing gayer than fucking caring about any of that stuff. <laughs> I cannot imagine. That is just the worst. I mean, Bernie lost. I'm just like, I'm never going to care about anything. Learn how to fix lawnmowers. Yeah. A guy, that is infinitely more interesting. Yeah. As a guy that's fucking like. Start a YouTube ch- YouTube channel where you get vintage lawnmowers. If you're you a guy that them. knows everything about fucking mailboxes. Yeah, you're the guy. You're yeah, the number one guy on mailboxes. Aw- I'll listen yeah. to that guy all day long. <laughs> I rewatch Vernon, Florida. And that guy just describing fucking yeah. different types of worms. I love that guy. They got different kinds of wigglers up there. They got, you know, they call them, I don't forget the name of them, Boston wigglers. They got night crawlers, too, but they don't grow around here. <laughs> they brought them down here. I'm the only one that grow them. I, I, I'm doing a rewatch of Vernon, Florida. I haven't seen that since college. And you learn it by doing. You can't. 
they don't got a book about it. Yeah. I mean, actually, they do got a book, but I ain't going to read it because you read it and everything in there is wrong. You got to learn it by doing it. <laughs> and I know that because I wrote the book on it. That's cool. Yeah. That guy's cool. The goblins, the turkey guy. The turkey guy. And I was all, you just described him. And the pines, the planted pines, they're uneven. They go left and right. It ain't in the straight line, you see. So I'm walking and crew, and I'm seeing them. And I see that turkey way down, maybe 25 yards. And I know I can't get any closer to him. So I, I, I raise the gun up real slow. Cow! The drop probably sounds like a, a ton of bricks when he hit the ground, and that's him right there. Probably eleven inch beard on that turkey. The next one I shot, and he just moves <laughs> <laughs> on to the next one. Yeah, he's so into that. Yeah, turkeys are hideous. Mm. They're one of the ugliest animals. I love that movie. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Yeah, guys, uh, check out a documentary film. Check out documentary cinema. If you like podcasts, you're going to love documentaries. The Thin Blue Line, Gates of Heaven. The Thin Blue Penis. The Thin Blue Penis. The It's about Elmo. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Sex Scandal. <laughs> that rocked Sesame Street. Dasha just texted me. What'd she say, bro? She said she enjoyed the new episode. She liked it? Yeah. That's it. That's it. Yeah. She's a famous actress. She's huge. She's on HBO. She was on HBO. Yeah, she got fired. She got fired. She got fired for racism. Did she? (laughs) No. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Just started a rumor. Uh, Yeah. Her character, I believe, was irradiated. By the Chernobyl disaster. She, yes, it, ca- it came out. that mm-hmm. It was implied that she had um, nuclear fallout cancer. That mm-hmm. she was slowly dying from all season. Yeah. she get, I, I believe Dasha's character on Succession is killed by James Bond. Is she not? Yes. <laughs> her, character is, her character is killed off when James Bond shoots her in the face. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. After fucking her. <laughs> Well, you know, the first guy, uh, the first girl he always fucks is the one that uh, he has to kill. Mm-hmm. And then he gets pussy from the yes. nice girl. Yes, I'll be in Denver this weekend <laughs> and I'm looking for pussy. <laughs> Anyone knows? <laughs> <laughs> I can get you. I'm in Winston-Salem, hey. North Carolina looking for Hello pussy. Hello, everybody. It's me, James Bond. Just a quick social media update. <laughs> I'm here in Vancouver looking for some pussy, perhaps. (laughs) If anyone wants to come (laughs) over and watch my movies and give pussy to me. (laughs) And eat edibles. (laughs) (laughs) Too close. (laughs) Little too close. Not vague enough. No, James Bond does do that. Now you're taking shots rather than just doing a subtle Uh, character. I think we've crossed that bridge. What? Nothing. What? We're taking shots at James Bond, dude. We don't like colonialism. But dun 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 dun. But what's that? What's that thing supposed to be in the beginning? Is it a gun? It's the barrel of a gun. I always thought. Or a camera. Why would it be a camera to let people know that it's a movie? I don't know. Because <laughs> what are you the guys talking about? <laughs> well, I <don't> <laughs> when I was a kid, I always saw this guy like taking a, p- a picture of James Bond, and then James Bond's like, "Don't fucking take a picture like, of me, boom. asshole." Yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought it was. I said no photos. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh. that's so funny. Dude. Remember, it's the inside of a penis. Scientists still don't know what the inside of a penis looks it like. It is a penis hole. Yeah. Yeah, with like a spiral. Yeah. I would love that, dude. That's probably what the inside of a spider's penis looks like. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a gun. So he shoots into the barrel of the other gun. That's how good he is at shooting. That's uh, what it implies? Well, no, he shoots and then there's blood pours over the front of the gun. There's blood that goes down the screen. The guy gets shot and he holds his own gun like this <laughs> and he goes oh <laughs> and he dies in a weird way <laughs> like that Nick did a funny uh, act out act out yeah I gotta get better at acting for the show cause I gotta we can't hire enough actors so I gotta play uh, we're running out of budget we're running we're, we're fucking please folks if you enjoy the Adam Friedland show podcast 
<coughs> go support the Adam Friedland Show at patreon.com slash T-A-F-S. Yeah, many of you n- ma- might not know that there's even more Adam Friedland Show Yeah, on patreon.com. It's a talk show, in fact. We have uh, cold opens, monologues, intellectual conversations. Mo- our most recent episode had Gene DiNapoli. We had Gene DiNapoli back on the yeah, show. Yeah, someone. So I saw someone commented somewhere. They were like <laughs> a quote from Gene, which I forgot about until I was editing last night with our editor, and and he said, <laughs> "Like Elvis, I just want to do what's right for this country." And. uh yeah, there there are a lot more choice. Yeah, you kept quoting that line to me as if it's supposed to be funny, but it's accurate. No, I mean the g- the man is selfless. Elvis was a veteran. He, he loved his mother. He he did more to smooth over race relations than any of these these counterculture mm-hmm. assholes. Yeah, you know? and it, it, he, by sh- he sh- shook his dick. Yeah, and ended racism. And I always said history is going to look kindly on Elvis. Mark my words, this guy, that guy's gonna mm-hmm. be, that guy's gonna be huge. Mark yeah. my words, this guy, I- this dude is the next dude. He's the truth, dude. Yeah, he's the truth. This dude is the guy to look out for. Is Elvis? That's Presley. what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. Dude. That's what's up. <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs> it's what what's up, but it's sexy. It's what's up, but it's sexy. Mm. All right, what do we got here? Let's let's do it. We guys. We got to take a break from the Adam Friedland podcast. No, 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 no. But not a break. No, 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 no. What the fuck is this? Twelve twenty one. We got Diet Smoke. This episode is brought to you oh. by Diet Smoke. You want to go ahead and pull up the sponsor on your phone, Mister Adam Friedland. Guys, Adam Friedland. Guys, this is this is gonna be fucking amazing. I'm about yeah. to blow your fucking mind. There's a company called Diet Smoke, and they got products like ch- edibles. They have, um, what else? What, joints? No joints. Basically, there are all the ways that you could have Delta 8 and Sh- Delta Delta 9 THC I'm here at the products Delta smoke website without smoking them. Looking for pushy. If anyone can give pushy to me. So Delta 9 is... They say THC for the daring, a bolder experience for those seeking a more traditional buzz. That's the kind of buzz you get from, you know, traditional THC products. But then they have Delta-8 gummies, which are 100% hemp-derived, lab-tested for potency, and scientifically formulated for a naturally balanced high. You could shop by Vibe. They have products for chillin', vibin', buzzin', active, sleep, and shop all. This <laughs> is... <laughs> They have they have chillin' products. All right, they got Blue Dream with HHC, Blue Dream with THCP. Listen, guys, I don't know letters. Wait, what know. the fuck is THCP? Are it's red uh, hot chili peppers. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Ted hot chili peppers. Ted hot chili peppers. I love that, dude. What is THCP? Uh, it's THC penis. What a bad name for a band, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yeah, really bad. Think about how much further they would have gone if they had named like fucking the Rolling Stones. Dude, they would have been the fucking they would have been Elvis. Yeah, or they could. The people were, gonna say, were saying they were going to be the next Elvis. Or the Beatles. Oh my God! Don't get me started. The Don Cheadles. If the Beatles were called the Don Cheadles, they would all still be alive and still be a big band. Yeah, I'm trying to find out what THCP is. How about I always thought a better name for the band would have been John Lennon and the <laughs> British Boys. Yeah, because it was <laughs> confusing. <laughs> Person- <laughs> personally, I always thought a b- better name. The name was confusing. <laughs> it should have been John Lennon and the British Boys. <laughs> Go ahead, Diet Smoke. I don't know. THCP is some science shit. It gets you high. All this stuff gets you high, okay? TH. Tetrahydra child pornography. Tetrahydra child pornography. They have gummies, edibles, crew neck sweaters. They got all this fucking crap. They got crew neck sweaters. You could eat this crap, go to Avatar. Mama Mia. They have lemon lime Delta H Delta A THC cans. They have a drink. They have a peach soda for those 
those of you from uh, Georgia, guys, this shit is great. I use it all the time. I used it before we did this podcast. And it's made this podcast mad funny. Honestly, if you're going to listen to a podcast, you got to you gotta pop one of these. And it really takes it to another level. And I know you guys love listening to podcasts, specifically the Adam Freeland Show podcast. Mm-hmm. So Diet Smoke makes the best anytime edible scientifically formulated for a perfectly balanced buzz, lab tested, 100% fe- fed early, legal THC and CBD delivered right to your door. Let's keep in touch, okay? For new customers, if you give them your email, or if you put in promo code, uh, come town, come town, twi- come town twenty, or uh, could be T A F S or T A T A F S, they're gonna give you a great fucking deal on your first order. Because they care about the customers and they care about the listeners of the Adam Free Lunch Show podcast. So I think that's that. No. That sounds good to me. Yeah, that sounds fucking good. Yeah, that sounds fucking good. Uh, anyway. <coughs> yeah. Should I try building models again? Like of what? Like a little plane or something. My dad was real into it. You you never became a ship in the bottle guy. No. It seems like you have that kind of personality. I don't have a steady hand anymore. My hands are fucked up now. I don't have like I have like a real shake. You do have like hand. a tremor. I do. What's yeah. that from? I don't know. Is it the shakes? Is it because you need a you need one more beer? Yeah. No. I don't know. I don't know. I think it meant probably vaping or something or too much coffee or. Yeah. You you consume a ton of caffeine. Uh, your dad got into model planes and stuff. He was always into it since he was a kid. Love what it. does he do with them when he's done building it? Um, just I don't puts know. it. He in put yeah, he puts it in a little box and and then in the garage and puts it away. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Uh, I think he sold all of them. In fact, to Korean men. And they were like, "This is a high quality product." Uh, I don't know. He just told a story about <coughs> fucking Korean men uh, buying all of his the model planes. They all came in a passenger van. It was like 15 Korean men. Really? Yeah. They came to the house? No, no. This was tw- 20 years ago. They came to, after he moved out and had a storage facility that he had to liquidate. So he, they moved him at his, they met him at the, at the storage and locker. And they came, and they came in a 15 passenger <laughs> van, a bunch of Korean <laughs> men, they bought a bunch of model <laughs> airplanes off. And it, he, he recounts this with like a sense of pride? Uh, he recounts it in the same way he recounts everything else with just a completely flat affect. And Really? No, there's, uh, there's like a cloying sort of, you know, he's like, oh, great, you know, like, all right. I heard your family's dead. You know, yeah, like yeah. <laughs> <he's> <laughs> like, everything has the same. <laughs> like he's like trying to not upset coworkers. He's always his disposition is not trying to not get fired. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't want to step on toes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but there's like a sadness underneath. Hey, good to see you. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. A uh, second plane hit the towers. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh good. Okay. Would you? Yeah. <laughs> Would you get a load of that? Mm. Yeah. Um. Hmm. I'm going to go see my dad in three days' time for the first time. In Where? South Africa. Months. You're going to South Africa. Going to go back to back to Wakanda. Right. Back also, to by the way, folks, there will be there will be episodes for the rest of the year as long as we have ad contracts, which looks like it's uh, really there's only one more for the year, twelve twenty eight. Okay. Then we're done. So there will be one more podcast episode, but Probably Adam's going out of town. I'm going out of the country. I'm, I'm going to see, see my, my grandmother. Nick's going to see his family. Well, and guess what? That's what the holiday season is about, guys, is going to see your family and spend times, times, time with your loved ones. What we would do on Come Town is we would go to the cabin. And this is, I, I will truly miss this because that was the highlight of the, the year. The cabin was a nice time. I, mean, I loved it. There was th- we would we all had a good time together doing eight episodes in a day. Here's a little here's a little something. I'm a little sloppy, so I'll tell you guys this: we would never hang out. Mm-hmm. Me and you would. Yeah. But the three of us, 
Never fucking hang out. <laughs> Literally. I mean, maybe the, maybe the first year of the show that happened. And then after that, it was just... Uh, it was just for picks. Yeah, basically. It was just for the press. Yeah, unless you were on tour or at the cabin. Yeah. It was always a fun time. It was always a fun time. I, I fondly recall uh, a hotel room in Cleveland. Yeah. Where... I laughed the hardest I've ever laughed yeah. in my entire life. That, that <laughs> honestly, so funny. That might have been the hardest I've ever laughed. <laughs> yeah, so like, like legitimately. Yeah, I remember I was like, I my stomach was, I was in pain. Yeah, yeah. What was that? What's that? I don't even remember her name. It doesn't. I don't remember her name, but we knew this. <laughs> yeah, laughing about some DC comic. <laughs> Being uh <laughs> being groped by it like a no just being confused by an Uber driver but then no he like he like chased her down and he was like I love you baby, <laughs> yeah, <he> please <laughs> <laughs> no he asked for her phone number and then she panicked and gave the, her real number yeah yeah it was and, a then, <laughs> and then he met he like what did she like uh, did some sting operation and had the <laughs> had this like poor immigrant arrested. <laughs> Because he was texting her like just weird around. I love you. I love you, baby. Please. <laughs> yeah. Oh. No, that was fucking hilarious. That was really fun. That was a really fun night. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. Uh, I have a lot of fond memories of the road. And guess what, guys? Maybe in 2023, young Nicholas and myself. Might uh, do some stuff for the two of us. If I don't know what that would look like. Because, look, this p- th- this quote-unquote podcast is dog shit. And I was obviously don't no one's listening to it. tell them that. They thought it was good until you said no, that. No, they did Nobody's listening to it either. Um, yeah, I don't we have, like, what was it? What did you say? It was 150 downloads per episode uh, of the Adam Freeland Show podcast. Oh, yeah. About a, 100 to 150 <laughs> downloads. <laughs> It used to be in the come town we were quarter getting of a million. More than that. Three hundred and fifty to four hundred thousand mm-hmm. downloads per episode. Yeah. And now this is uh We lost it, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We lost the audience. Oh, oh well. We just got that rich oh, I, we just got that gay rich guy. Yeah. I but would love that dude. In if the that, CIA. If it turned out like <laughs> at this point in my life that would be a dream come true. That'd be awesome. It was David Geffen. <laughs> yeah. If I got a letter from David Geffen, it's like, look. I've been the one supporting the Patreon, if and you don't have to, but maybe please stop calling me a pedophile on the show. Right I'd away. I'd be like, David. You're a good guy. David. Baby cakes. Ba- <laughs> babe. Babe. David. Babe. David. Baby. Babe. <laughs> uh, the, the, the fact that you think you'd even have to ask <laughs> is David. blowing my fucking mind over David. Here. David. You say how high. Uh, you you say jump, I say how high. Yeah. Uh, perhaps I could uh, come play Nintendo Switch on the yacht while you rape a child. Maybe I'll go to one of your twink pool parties. Yeah. Um, that's got to be, that's funny. Because like women, like women, you know, like women get drunk and they're like, oh, d- don't go home with that guy, Sarah. You know, there's like, th- you know, there's like things that they know not to do. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I think the guy at the party's like, oh, I'll give you a ride home. You know, mm-hmm. yeah. Like, oh, look out for that guy. Yeah, Michelle, he's got don't. a bad reputation. Yeah, it's sad. And then if you're like a young gay man, if a uh, billionaire is like, yeah, we're having a pool party. <laughs> 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 it's like that's they're like, Eric, <laughs> but you know how, what a pool party <laughs> means. <laughs> He's like, I thought there was going to be pizza mm-hmm. and a beach ball that we all knock around. You saw that episode of Degrassi, right? Which one? The gay pool party episode. No. Where, uh, I don't know. Yeah, no, it wasn't a Does real. Does that happen? No, it, it doesn't happen. I don't remember that. Whatever it takes. <laughs> I know I, I can, know make, I it can it make it through. through. I got back into Degrassi recently. I started watching it, too. It's on HBO. It's on HBO Max now. I have the entire series on DVD. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> Nate, you got me into it. Yeah. It is It is truly a demented world. Dude, it's fucking it hilarious. Is, it is so funny. It's a show about Canadian kids, but then they kill a off characters. A kid gets it's raped. It's like the Sopranos. A kid gets raped in one episode. Yeah. Next episode, she's back at school. Yeah. And then she's like, I'm so stressed out. Yeah. Emma's like, I guess I'm going to have to kill Manny because she looked at my boyfriend. 
<laughs> it's really it's like fucking shit that Tony Soprano would do. <laughs> no. it's sociopathic. Yeah. yeah. It's insane. <laughs> Manny, Big Pussy got killed because he was a tattletale. You know that. <laughs> we don't talk to the feds. Mm-hmm. Somebody called Ginny Sack fat. <laughs> fat. <laughs> fat. <laughs> they called her fat. Somebody <laughs> called Ginny Sack fat. <laughs> fat. <laughs> <laughs> dumb accent. <laughs> it's so funny that Drake is from that. Mm. The biggest star in the world. Yeah. He really shouldn't be allowed to say the N-word. <laughs> He's going to say <laughs> Yeah, you know, they should, they should take that away from him, honestly. He can still do his little raps, mm-hmm. but he's not allowed to say the N-word. Well, he was a victim of gun violence on the show. Yeah, he gets shot by a nerd. He's the block character. Yeah. I mean, the best character is Spinner, the one that's like... Spinner's the best. The, 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 the retard. Yeah, the yeah, retard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's an episode where he gives one of his riddle in pits in her. It's like season I've one. seen that. Episode. Yeah, he gives his riddle and pill to Jimmy. I watched that a couple weeks ago. He gives his riddle and pill to Jimmy, and as a, what what Jimmy happens to play ba- basketball? So he gets better at yeah. Jimmy, you're going to do better <laughs> in the game if you take my riddle and pill. And then so he gives him the riddle and pill, and then fucking Spinner because he can't take his riddle and he's like hyperactive. Yeah, Jimmy's fouling people. He's fouling his own teammates. He like pushes Sean to the yeah, ground. he pushes Sean over, the, yeah. but he makes a good play. He's like, Jimmy, we talked to you about dunking the basketball. <laughs> There's no blick dunking allowed. The blocks, can't the blicks <laughs> aren't allowed to dunk the basketball in Canadian the basketball. Canadian regulation basketball <laughs> bans blick dunking. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing too much black shoe booting in the <laughs> You're right. Yeah. You're going to jail for black shoe booting, Jimmy. <laughs> and, I, and so he he gives a riddle and pull to Jimmy and then, and then he, he ruins the and <laughs> <laughs> Spinner shows his asshole. The he whole he's ass. like he's like Hey Degrassi, check this out. And he pulls his asshole out and then he's in the principal's office. And he's like, but Mr. Radish, I didn't mean to. <laughs> and the principal was like, we all know what happens when you miss your Ritalin pill. Yeah. Like, he already has a peg that he misses his Ritalin pill. And it's like, what happens? He shows his <laughs> asshole to people. <laughs> that's like, that's just, that's why you he was. Open your cheeks for this. <laughs> right, so that's why he was, like, he was diagnosed. That's why they put him That's on. why he was prescribed a riddle in the first place. Because Spinner was going around showing his sealed asshole to the school community. <laughs> His sealed Down syndrome asshole to everybody. It is. It is truly such a funny show. Yeah. No. It's incredible. But like, I remember you showed it to me for the first time. You just turned to me and you're like, this shit goes so hard. (laughs) (laughs) I love it, dude. You're like, you don't realize how hard this show goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's amazing. No, people people don't. Uh, Wait, they, Emma like gets raped in the first episode, right? So, well, she doesn't get raped. I mean, she's like talking. Oh, a pedophile tries to kill yeah, her. Yeah, she's talking to the pet. The show opens with her talking to a pedophile. It's the first episode. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, the, but Hello, Nick, Nick, mind your business. Nick, <laughs> Nick, yeah. Nick watches Degrassi. <laughs> like you're in the sc- like you're the bully at the school, <laughs> yeah. And you're like no. sh- you're like fuck you, Emma. You no, fucking dumb. Literally, bitch. dude. I hate all the characters. <laughs> you hate. Them. There's not a Who's single. Who's the black girl with the glasses? Liberty. Liberty. <laughs> yeah. Nick just sits there bullying <laughs> Liberty from the couch because <laughs> like what you get a look at her. She's yeah. the kind of girl you're mean to in school. She's yeah. the kind of girl. She's like that gets shit when she's all in of school. The, all of the characters suck, and then the writers all get to be like. Yeah, what if JT gets stabbed and pissed on? <laughs> and then, uh, you know, that's a, it's a kid that's... Uh, the actor's on the show for fucking seven seasons. And then he gets stabbed in a park. Wait, lot. JT, like the annoying kid? The yeah, kid the that's class, like the Jim Carrey kid. The class yeah. clown kid. The class clown. Yeah. <laughs> he is not, yeah. not a single joke that he tells is funny. <laughs> yeah, no, he sucks. He is brutal. He sucks. That is so funny. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he never says anything funny. He's just not even remotely just funny. Per- they don't even write like, jokes for him. You're so funny, JT. Nobody thinks he's funny either. He's just coded as a class clown. No, no, but that's yeah. what I mean too. Is like none of the like, <laughs> like Paige is coded as hot, but there's no hot characters on the yeah. show. 
Spinner is coded as retarded. Well, you saw Ashley got hot. Drake is coded as black. <laughs> yeah, but they no, imply he's none black. None of the characters. They make him play basketball. Yeah. None of the characters. He's a victim are, of gun violence. Yeah. None of the characters are actually the thing they're supposed to be. Yeah, like Toby's a, a nerd supposedly, but in the nerd, the only way he's a nerd, he's just of, Jewish. Well, he's he's good at googling things. <laughs> Like he finds, like Emma's like, I can't find any information on sea turtles. And then Toby's like, let me try. And then he Googles like fucking, there's like, the interstitial just, music is yeah. incredible. Well, yeah. And then he's like fucking, just does like a ghost writer close up on the yeah. computer while he's like fucking Toby's world sea turtles and gets his own search engine and then Emma's like wow Toby how did you do that and he's like can I please get some <laughs> please, pussy please can I please hey Toby here I'm here in Denver looking for some pussy if I can get it I'll be at Comedy Works June 17th through the 19th <laughs> Toby here I'll be at Comedy Works Denver and I'm looking for some pussy if I can get it from you <laughs> from ya yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. Hey, if you don't mind. <laughs> Spinner, <laughs> Spinner is, is just straight up retarded. No, yeah, he has Down syndrome. <laughs> he died, died, his tongue is too big for his mouth. He has mm -hmm. that kind of like speech pattern. I remember, yeah, there was there was a girl I showed Degrassi one time. And I told her Spinner had Down syndrome. And she just believed it. I was like, yeah, the character has Down syndrome. Same thing. The same. Yeah, yeah, he gets to go to regular now, obviously school. Obviously, they're not going to cast a guy with Down syndrome. Yeah, it was, yeah. <laughs> That would be Canada, both like cruel and technically not necessarily feasible. Yeah, they're actors. They could play different people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What you can you imagine a guy with Down syndrome trying to deliver all those lines? <laughs> not like Spinner can. Yeah, no. Ashley got hot in real life. Which one's Ashley? When she be Ashley becomes goth. Wait, who's Ashley? The sister? Ashley is this is Toby's stepsister. Toby's stepsister. And her well, dad. Her dad's gay. Emma gets Emma's hot in real life now. In real life? Yeah, you want to see? I don't know. I find that hard to believe. I'll tell you. I'll I hate you. I hate Emma. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you're like, you watch it, and you're like, you stupid fucking bitch. <laughs> Emma sucks, dude. <laughs> she sucks. She sucks. She's fucking annoying. She's oh, annoying. bro, we got a text back. From who? From Harm. <laughs> Why are you saying this on the road? And first of all, don't say his name like that. What? Don't say his name well, like that. I, it's good because it obfuscates it, but also I that's I was about to say the full thing. Uh, no, no, that was you doing the youism, dude. We called him weeks ago. I know, but saying it that way was you doing. We'll beep it, dude. Dude, I can't tell you how bad I want to fucking just dra pull a drag off that vape. Don't do it. I know I can't. The Apple Watch is telling me I, it's like. Uh, We'll beep the name. Get a timestamp. No, I'm not beeping shit. You should have right. said it. This is, I'm not putting any more effort into beeping the show or doing any of that shit. Yeah, yeah. You're Folks, right. look. Please, this is not... Do not interpret this as me being ungrateful for the last six years or having any negative feelings about Comptown. But Comptown, like anything else, was a product that or a project that had a beginning and the end. And we're proud of it. We're happy with mm -hmm. it. But we want to do something other than podcasting. And the talk show is a departure from that. Please go to patreon.com, subscribe, because... Honestly... Because it's not like... The, the, the blowing all the money is a joke, but it also isn't. Ideally, we would be blowing all the money, and we'd be doing... You know, the, we, we have a producer that knows how to blow the money correctly, but everything gets reinvested back yeah. into doing like bigger shit and fully crowdfunding it and not having to answer to anybody that would be awesome yeah if we could fucking if we, you know do like a like a serialized feature yeah I, that would be the fu the fucking absolute dream that's really what we i mean the the first couple of minutes of the show is really this is the shit i want to do for six is years the really is the shit we've been wanting to do for a long time yeah and it's really cool that we're doing it now. I feel really, honestly, genuinely. We, the, the Patreon jumps up to like six million dollars a month, <laughs> and then I just then I spend the next year just watching Degrassi, <laughs> <laughs> podcasting, drinking, <laughs> <laughs> getting wasted yeah, watching my, Degrassi. Be like, Emma, you fucking <laughs> dumb bitch. 
<laughs> I live you stream it. So, I live stream it. I'm you like, hate Emma. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I live stream it. I'm like, no, it's like it's like a meta thing about social media and Degrassi, and the movie is me watching Degrassi, and then I'm not even watching Degrassi anymore. I'm just rewatching Contact. Contact's a great movie, dude. Yeah, d- I remember. Is David Moore still alive? You don't really see him much anymore. He's a great Which actor. Which guy is that? David Morris is the father in Contact. We should get him on the show. Yeah, dude, that's Emma now. Let me see this. <laughs> I mean, she's... Uh, no, dude. What are you she's talking about? She's not like... I mean, compared to like... Whatever. She like Compared to what? Her she as got, an 11-year-old girl? She got no, hotter. I don't, I don't know about that. No. <laughs> no, uh, but you know what? I'm not going to say anything because there's a chance we could have her on the show. Yeah, don't fucking comment on that. Ah, oh, fuck. I forgot we got to do another read. All right, yeah. Ah, uh, fuck. Ah, uh, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Blue, blue chew. Go. Uh, if you I'm like. Gonna get, I'm going to get another beer. Do we have more? Yeah, I saw them. They're just sitting around somewhere. Don't say beer on the show. Can you want you want to beep beer? No. <laughs> if you lo- um, if you love sex, you love bluechew.com. It's an incredible place for sex lovers everywhere. Blue Chew is a service that provides chewable tablets for guys who want a little bit more extra confidence in the bedroom, you know where I'm at. Um <clears throat> let's see. Wow. Oh fuck, dude! Fuck hymns, dude. If you Google Blue Chew, hymns comes up as the first, as the first uh, result. I guess we don't have any more beer. No, we just had that one beer. Uh, well, Blue Chew offers you the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra, which are sildenafil, tadalafil, and vardenafil, for a fraction of the price in a chewable form. Prescribed online and shipped to your door. Cancel any time. No gimmicks. No lock-in. Blue Chew makes getting lead. <coughs> Dude, I have a sore throat. I really hope I don't get sick before I have to fucking fly. You're gonna get sick to Africa. You go. You're gonna be sick on the plane. No, li- shut up, bro. I I have to see my grandma. She's 91. You're gonna get her sick. <laughs> if I kill my grandma, why that? <laughs> you should see the look on his face right now. You should see the smile <laughs> on Nick's face. I'm practicing new <laughs> new creepy looks. <laughs> Dude, like, okay, no lock-in Bluetooth makes getting the treatment you need affordable and discreet. No more waiting rooms, no more time-consuming doctors' in-person visits, no more judgment. Quality patient care and prescription treatments do not have to be inconvenient or expensive. All plans include digital physician consults, RX-only chewable tablets, monthly refills, and medical support pills. Haven't worked for you? Bluetooth offers chewable sildenafil to dalafil and vardenafil tablets as an alternative option for you blue chew guys you go there you talk to one of those folks you get these sent straight to your house and if you're a listener of our show and you go there you put in promo code what is it come town or come town 20 come town or come town 20 guess what they do for you they give you your first month free all you got to do is pay the shipping, and then you get hard. You get hard, and you get respect. And that's what's most important in this world is the respect of a woman in the bedroom. Sign up. Answer a few questions, connect with a licensed medical provider, and receive your prescription within days upon approval. Best part, it's all done online. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. It's time to chew. Yep. That's what it's all about, folks. BlueChew.com. Go there. Please go there and tell them that Adam sent you from the Adam Friedland Show, a talk show and the Adam Friedland Show podcast, a podcast. And now back to the show. Wait, didn't we know someone that fucked Manny? Yeah, a bunch of people fucked Manny. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch. If I gave her Paige would claim she gave me the water. There wouldn't be much credit there. You were my prom date? I wouldn't let her take any credit. Not for me. There really wouldn't be. Shut up, Emma. I 
I've been knocking myself out. Paige comes to one practice in three months and acts like she owns it. Uh, did you hear the part where I asked you the prom? Toby, you're a sweet, sweet guy, but... But... And he's going with me. Sorry, but as the newly single head of the dance committee, I, I had to scoop up the cutest date I could find. <laughs> How come the gay guys always win? Oh my god, thank you so much. You'll find something chic to wear? Of course, who's all going? Um, us, Jimmy, Hazel, and just so you know, I think Paige is bringing that. Ooh, remember when Paige gets raped? Awesome episode. Yeah, and then they they start a band and they do songs about rape. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember that? <laughs> about like when you rape me or some shit. It's good, mm. dude. Remember when uh, Marco is struggling with his being gay? <laughs> that, yeah. Well, he is gay. Well, he is gay, but he yeah. doesn't when he's trying to not come out of the closet, mm. and he has a soul patch. But he's in high school with a soul patch. It's very, very funny. Yeah. Damn, there'll never be a show this good again. It's literally, it's like the fucking The Sopranos and then Degrassi. And then the Adam Freeland show and at patreon.com slash T-A-F-S. Uh, Degrassi and Sopranos exist side by side. Yeah. And then underneath that is probably fucking Deep Space Nine and then uh, Babylon 5. And then what would be the fourth greatest show of all time? I guess... Deadwood. Meet the Press. Meet the Press. Yeah. Um, Hollywood Squares. Yeah, Marvelous Miss Maisel. Marvelous Miss Maisel. Marvelous. The mar- Marvelous. Mar- marvelous <coughs> Mrs. Penis. <laughs> How about be, that? Wouldn't that be interesting? Wouldn't that though? be interesting? <laughs> I noticed one of these LEDs flickering. I, don't, I wonder how much fucking work it would be to get those swapped out because I really want to put better strips in those. Like brighter strips? Brighter? I want that brighter because I want the f- the velvet to pop more. Yeah, brighter, but then also something with like uh, like better, I don't know what you would call it, but like uh, there's different types of LGBT or RGB. 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 TCP. Plus. Um, uh, like uh, color... T- yeah. fucking technology but a little bit more control because there's no we want a warm light coming out of there but because it's uh blue the velvet it always looks green what are you doing um i'm trying to get a ride home bro what do you mean you're trying to get a ride home we're not even done with work yet i'm saying after we're done you want to leave here immediately no i've been I sitting just, around i've been sitting I just around get for picked f- up I've been sitting around for five no, we hours. Got more, we got more bi- business to attend to, but I just want to get I've been sitting around there. for five hours waiting for your ass. Well, I had to go shopping. You bought a car today. I didn't buy a car. I'm leasing a car. And you want to tell everybody about your car? I got a Mazda Miata. You got a Volvo. With the flip-up lights. You got a Volvo V70? 60. V60. Very it's nice. nice, dude. License plate number. Well, it's a... It's a vanity plate. It's a vanity plate. Mm-hmm. You know, Maine, state of Maine, is cutting down on vanity plates <laughs> in an effort to cut down on fucking slurs. Yeah. Yeah. In other news, New Jersey, in an effort to cut down on public obesity, is getting rid of dinner plates. That's good. Yeah. They what should we do? What should we do? Should we do a little monologue writing? Wrap the well, show. We up did the monologue, monologue yesterday for everyone. I know, but I don't mind. I don't mind. Well, we actually when when did the episode came up come out? It kind of came out today. Came out yesterday. Well, no, it came out at like three a.m. I guess. this morning. Zelensky had the house laughing nervously. Here's how you write monologues, guys. You go to Yahoo News because Yahoo yeah. Yahoo is always the best. That's where you get all the good shit. For Zelensky, a celebration of resilience and a sales pitch for support. Zelensky, oh fuck! Get back to the fucking dentist too. Zelensky's carefully choreographed blitz of Washington was crafted as one part celebration of Russia's failure to crush Ukraine. One of our appreciation of American taxpayer. What the fuck is? Fuck this article. I need to know what he said. U.S. couple, get off your phone, please. 
I'm looking for headlines. I'm bro. looking for headlines. We can't both be looking for headlines. Look. What if I find a really good one? I'm I'm looking. We're looking at the same website. All right. Please. All right. All right. I was on all my right. phone first. All right. All right. Here we go. Megan the Stallion's boyfriend, Partisan Fontaine, mm-hmm. shares message in support of women amid <laughs> Tory Lanez trial. Tory Lanez. Tory Lanez. Her ex boyfriend shot her in the foot. Yeah. But people say that she that it. People have been, uh, and I just want to say, she didn't do I don't know who any happen. of these people are, but just looking at pictures of them, I think they should all probably be in jail. <laughs> that's racist. <laughs> there you go. That's a model. You're being, joke. But no, it's not a joke. That's just that's just young men three times more likely okay. to be shot dead in two U.S. cities than in Iraq or Afghanistan. Okay, which cities? Um, Chicago, Illinois. Yeah, and the, the the young men are Osama bin Laden and Saddam Hussein. Yeah, it's true. They were harboring terror. Yeah. <laughs> That's defense. true. That's good. That's a Leno joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Monica Lewinsky. Criminal defense attorney explains why you should avoid self-checkout lanes. Theft by mistake. Okay. I guess she's, she's warning people that you could... Uh, uh, stop using self checkout lines because you accidentally steal. What? Who is this fucking nerd? The point of using self checkout is to steal. Look here, I'd, I'd say that uh, it looks like uh, I'd like to accidentally steal her pussy. Yeah, I'd like to. I'd like her to be my lawyer. Man shot ex girlfriend fifteen times because she didn't answer his calls. Florida cops say. Man shot his girlfriend, ex-girlfriend 15 times because she hadn't answered his phone calls or text messages. Uh, which uh, is exactly what I'd like to do to fuck any time I call <laughs> fucking customer service at the cable company. Okay, no Sam Bankman <laughs> freed in this. <laughs> Yo, have you seen a picture of his girlfriend? Yeah, she's horrible. <laughs> that is, that yeah. is one of the ugliest women I've ever <laughs> seen in my entire life. And I don't want to call, uh, comment on women's appearances because I would like to book a lot of people for the show. Mm-hmm. But that is a freak look. And apparently they're into uh, like uh, sex shit. They're into like uh, poly shit. I would probably throw up on her face <laughs> if I, I had to have sex with that woman. <laughs> that woman is like god awful. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, she looks like a like a owl mouse. Mm, yeah, she's terrifying looking. Yeah, no, she look. I mean, she looks like a little like cartoon like worm or bug or something. Yeah, she. Yeah, she looks like. A, yeah, she no. Looks like Sam Bankman Fried and his parents didn't just shell out two hundred fifty million for bail. Here's how it works. I think this trend in headlines now where they just assume you're upset about something because you, there's something you don't understand. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're like, no, Harvey Weinstein didn't rape a bunch of actresses. Here's what's actually going on. Cousin Eddie display in Tucky leads to a police response. Hey, what are you doing? I'm looking for the sex stuff that they did. Don't ignore it. Why? It's going to be funny. Because I'm looking at headlines. Well, look up the sex stuff. We don't need just a bunch of dead air, please. No, I want to look. I want to see the sex stuff that those freaks were doing to each other. I'm I'm going to. So you find it for me then. Why do I need to find it? I'm in the middle of doing the monologue. Okay, do the monologue. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, man. White male investment banker punches black female MTA worker in the face and is released without bail. Sounds hilarious to me already. I mean. <laughs> Next joke. Yeah, a white male investment probably punched the black female into work in the face and was released without bail. Uh, Brooklyn subway station. I don't like. I don't, am I supposed to be mad about this? I don't understand. We say always oh, bail should be. Oh, this guy's name is. His name is. Here's an important detail. <laughs> okay. Jean Francois Costa. <laughs> That guy? He mm. punched a working woman in the in the face? Yeah. Sounds like a bad guy to me. The senior equity analyst at Talkville Asset Management. He was apparently drunk. She pushed the door so it clicks and locks, and he punched her in the face at least twice. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Cost was arrested at the scene. Now, recording police, he was ordered released without bail. 
NYC train. But who's the t- who's the who's like the 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 target demographic for outrage with this headline? Because all the people that are like, oh, a white man, you know, like they don't want fucking bail reform. Right. Right. Well. So you so should you this want it's it for Gene because Gene, if you listen to the new episode, Patreon dot com slash taps, he has a couple of opinions on bail reform. I guess and that's that's yeah. I set him up, you knock him down. Yeah. Who who would want? I guess you're gonna have to listen to the Patreon. I guess you're gonna have to listen on Patreon dot com slash. It seems like a weird. It seems like a weird contradiction. Yeah. White male, a white, a white man, or released without bail. uh, Philadelphia man exonerated after decades. Of, this is very funny. Philadelphia man exonerated after decades in prison, gunned down at funeral. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Damn, that's horrible. Yeah, <laughs> gunned <laughs> down. <laughs> oh man, suffered gunshot wounds to the head. Wow, that sucks. What happened to the funny headlines? Yeah. Why is it all just shit that's going to... You fun- find good funny ones for the monologue. We have the bull semen one. His, his stuff that's going to bait me into deadpanning a racist joke that you ignore because you're, you're responding to text messages. I'm not. I'm not on the phone, bro. DEA sees enough fentanyl to kill every American. Hospital rooms for celebs or the VIPs under scrutiny. Why? All right. How use ER is favor the rich? Okay. Well, that's gonna do it. You're trying to get a ride home. Yeah. No, I'm. I don't. No, I'm not. My ride's not here. Gonna be here for a while. Okay. I want to talk about Sam Bankman Freed and his girlfriend's sex okay, stuff. Okay, then pull it up. You can do your Google. Apparently, that. they were into Chinese harem polyamory. What does that mean? Well, that's how is that different than regular polyamory? They're ugly people having sex. That's polyamory. Yeah. I told you that. um, God damn. Now I'm looking at her. (laughs) (laughs) Um, She really is fucking truly just (laughs) dog shit hideous. (laughs) I mean, she is just. What's her name? Christina. Something like that. Christina Dog Shit. <laughs> Christina <laughs> D- <laughs> Caroline Ellison. Um, Sam Bankman Free's ex uh, I'm gonna, Caroline I'm gonna, Ellison I'm gonna, made a foray into Chinese harem polyamory. I'm, I'm, I'm Googling Caroline Dog Shit, and if she comes up. She penned graphic blog posts about polyamory and masochism before the implosion of FTX. Ellison, who dated FDX founder Sam Bankman Fried, wrote candidly about her foray into polyamory in a now deleted Tumblr account in February 2020. Um, I just want to see what they what the, what those freaks were doing when I first started my foray into. Oh my God! Now I'm looking at a picture of her and reading this simultaneously. <laughs> when I first started my foray into poly, I thought of it as a radical break from my trad past, but TBH. I've come to decide that only acceptable style of poly is best characterized as something like imperial Chinese harem. None of this non-hierarchical bullshit. Everyone should have a ranking of their partners. People should know where they fall in the ranking, and there should be a vicious power struggles for the higher ranks. I'm not even like one of these... uh, That is psycho, bro. I'm not even (laughs) one of these like guillotine fucking Marxist guys, but... She really should have her head cut off. She only, should be shot. If only because that head should not be on a body. <laughs> <laughs> it should just... It should... <laughs> her little jack-o'-lantern head. God damn. Oh, my They're God. Just Imagine... Fucking, just look at a picture of this girl. I'm going to read you this sentence. Look, I'll tell you what. At <laughs> least at least neither of the two of them need to worry about being raped in prison. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> no one's that crazy. No, I hope I hope Sam beats the case. I I hope I hope it I hope Teflon Sam beats the case. Yeah. And I hope she gets solitary. I, I, hope, his defense, I hope his defense is he did it because he was sad about the rising tide of anti Semitism <laughs> in America and he's let off. I hope that they put her in the Magneto prison from X Men. 
I'm less hedonistic and more masochistic. I get a lot of pleasure from doing things that are hard, unpleasant, physically taxing, or what, emotionally like looking painful. Looking in the fucking mirror? <laughs> Just <laughs> the kinky CEO alleged. Um, Jesus Christ, man. Yeah. No, she is. And it's like, it's, 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 because mathematically she's not Ew. like, She's she's not. I mean, she's just an ugly girl. Yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, I'm sure you could find women that are uglier than. Yeah, this. of course, of course. But something about it. She's got this like you know how like sometimes like a very plain looking woman will be like you're like like what why the fuck she's got some. You yeah, know yeah. What I mean? There's something. Yeah, she, there's she she's has got a little, the reverse of that. She's got like the negative. There is something about her that she's is got a dark awful. energy. Yeah, yeah. The dark energy that makes her disgusting. <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Born too late to have ten kids. Born too soon to have four-dimensional upload orgies. That is disgusting. Yeah. Yeah, I just want to see, like, an elephant just, like, kind of just... You know you know the videos of the <laughs> firemen during the civil rights movement <laughs> using the hoses on the protesters? Yes. And they kind of just get swept along the street? It, it is really I crazy see, I want to see that. an elephant, like, just doing that with its ass <laughs> to this woman. <laughs> Just spraying diarrhea at her until she goes away. <laughs> she falls just off ele- a cliff. Just elephant diarrhea hose that takes her, yeah, right off the face of the earth. Look at this. She talks about like how she likes to get domed, and then you look at a picture of Sam. They, made, they made some poor graphic designer draw this bitch. Let me see. They had somebody at the wall. <laughs> the I'm glad. We, I'm glad we're talking about this. What? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Imagine this guy throwing up all over his iPad. She talks about how she likes men to have sufficient strength to overpower you controlling most major and and controlling most major world governments. Mm-hmm. It's disgusting. Yeah. Yeah, she spatial is. reasoning abilities, low risk aversion. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, she's. This is. This is. This is gross. Are we? Are we gonna hear what her voice sounds like? I don't know. I'm looking for. I'd her. like to hear it. You wanted to bring. You were ignoring. What if she has a sexy voice? You what were if we ignoring me her? in the last segment? I wasn't ignoring you, dude. So you could bring this up. I was trying to find the sex stuff. These nerds, this these nerds having oh, doing how about sex the, stuff. Who's this Gary Wang guy? I also <laughs> like that this like this whole company is just like a community college lunchroom. It's, just, it's like this. It's just like the biggest nerds in the world. <laughs> like it's like four, it's like Magic the Gathering. Like, who's this kids? other guy? Yeah. yeah, this Gary Wang guy. No, he's a, he was in the company too. Yeah, Gary Wang, Chinese entrepreneur. He's also. But yeah, it's. Let me see a pic of him. Yeah. (laughs) 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 This is very. Yeah, there's like another guy that looks like Toby from Degrassi. What is Sam? I want. I've never. I've never heard what Sam sounds like. Dude, headlines are so funny. FTX Bros orgy loving gal pal. These these people are hilarious. Yeah, people are trying to spin it that their uh, Sam Bankman Fried was the biggest dem- Democratic Party donor. They're trying to say that he was like no, a, no, he was a Trump guy. Was he? No, yeah, the Democrats don't ever do anything wrong ever. Yeah, yeah, he was he was he was huge MAGA. Mm-hmm. It was cool that he was in the Bahamas. Before they oh, caught here we him, go. perfect. This is uh, a reaction video, I guess. To what? I don't know. Watching the FTX sex tape. Let's see. Let me go on porn. What's on the? Porn hub. There's a Pornhub video. Um, no, this looks like. Uh, no. No, I'm not seeing it. Sorry. All right. Oh, I found it. I found her. 
Carowan Ellison nude. Dare I? Right? <laughs> use very little math. Um, um use, use a lot very of like, uh, elementary school math. Being comfortable with risk is very important. Um, Awful. <laughs> we tend not to have things like stop losses. I think those aren't necessarily a great risk management tool. I'm trying to think of a good example of a trade where I've lost a ton of money. Um, well, I don't know. I probably don't want to go into specifics too much yeah, with that. No, I don't, I don't, I don't. <laughs> they got her. They got her. Caroline Edison, who was closely interlinked with FTX and was the head of a Lambda research. Let's listen. <laughs> Being open to whatever happened. I, I think like every week or so, uh, something like weirder than the previous week would happen. Uh, and I was like, okay, I was like, I just like mentally, you know, adjusted myself to, you know, okay, we're farming comp. Uh, and then it's like, oh, now we're farming these things that are like foods. And then now we're farming these like whatever weird, like meta food things. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I did manage to get, yeah, get away from my initial skepticism and, and I'm embracing the mindset of like, great. I'm going to like go out and look for like whatever, like the weirdest, dumbest thing people are talking about today. And like, that's going to be the thing I'm working on today. So there you have it. Caroline Edison, the sex god of the earth. Take a quick list. I don't understand what that is, but I now kind of, <laughs> this is funny. Use very little math. <laughs> um, use a lot of like, uh, elementary school. They put her in that meme with the, uh, <clears throat> With the, you know, the guys, the six guys, you know, in their underpants staring at yeah, a girl yeah, on the couch. One's, this one's much better. <laughs> <laughs> Is Hunter Biden fucking it? <laughs> Dude, I love him. Damn, they're getting flamed, these people. Yeah. Honestly, I, I think she's kind of fire. I would love it if Hunter Biden fucks Sam Brinkman freed. Sam Bankman frees his Friedland. His Sam no. Yeah. No. Yes. No, that's not his name. Come on, bro. This lady sucks. Anyway, guys, I think I would fuck her. All right, well, that's going to do it for today. That's going to do it for today. All right, happy holidays, folks. Happy Hanukkah. Merry Christmas. Happy Kwanzaa. And as always, guys, see your families. Be nice to your families. Family's important. It's been a great year. Thanks for a great year, guys. All right, everyone, welcome to the...